at this point, uh, as we're working to uh, restore and repair any damage out there, uh, there's uh, two things happening. First of all, we still remain in the assessment phase at this point. That means that we're out in the field with um, uh, hundreds of employees at SAS Power working to address this issue. Uh, we are in the sky and on the ground uh, looking to see what sort of damage might have been caused to our equipment out there, there and really narrow down the cause of this. Uh, that's one thing we don't have at this is an exact cause. Uh, we do know that it was a widespread outage though and that's certainly something that uh, we're working towards finding out as we uh, head through the day. Uh, at this point uh, we do know that uh, at approximately nine o'clock when the power did go off we lost uh, power stations in the southeast including the boundary down power station all four units as well as the Shand power station and the uh, Poplar River power station near Cornac as well. So what can happen in a situation like this is um, uh, if the system senses instability it will sometimes cause units like that to trip but again we are still working to find the cause of this outage uh, we are we do, are aware of the symptoms I suppose you could say and that would be the uh, loss of that power generation capacity in the southeast and south central parts of the province um, at this point we are uh, uh, essentially uh, thanking people for their patience as we work to restore power quickly and safely as I mentioned there are hundreds of people at SAS power working to get this power restored uh, when we are able to do that